hello students welcome to this class in this class we are going to learn uh, grade 8 second supplementary uh, second lesson children are to work okay, why children working uh, in some places especially tea shops hotels uh, some small factories why what is the reason behind this okay that is what we are going to study the less from the lesson children at work before you read before you read there are many reasons why children have to work some help their family make a livelihood others who run away from unhappy homes okay some children run away because they are not happy with their family members so they are having plan to run away from their home need to support themselves they have to support themselves so they are working children who have to work cannot go to school yes if any child goes to work it is not possible going to school and play like other children of their their age now the first part Velu An 11 year old boy Runs away from home Yes uh, In this story Velu is, is a prominent character Of this story um, He is a 11, years, 11 year old boy And he runs away from home So obviously we, we know uh, There are some reasons Behind uh, Behind this running away of home here also Velu escapes from his family why what is the reason behind his uh, uh, is behind his uh, runaway from home he want he wanders around for hours before getting on a train to Chennai without a ticket so he goes to Chennai without a ticket but before that he was uh, roaming around for hours before getting on before getting on a train to Chennai without a ticket. Tired and hungry, he doesn't know where to go. When a stranger at the station shouts a word of welcome. Okay. See. When the Kanyakumari Express pulled in at Chennai Central, it took Velu some time to get off. Okay, um, it was Kanyakumari Express pulled in at Chennai Central. Pulled in means arrived. Okay, what is the meaning of pulled in? Pulled in means arrived. What arrived? Kanyakumari Express arrived where at Chennai Central. It took Velu some time to get off, so he was hesitating. To get off from the train because he doesn't know anything in uh, anything in Chennai. Okay, so he uh, it took Velu some time to get off. When he finally stood on the platform, his uh, legs felt oblique. Oblique means unsteady. Okay, his legs were unsteady, felt oblique, unsteady, as if he was still on moving train as if he was still on a moving train his legs were unsteady like he still is in a moving train okay oh yeah. out of the way a porter went by with a lower trolley when you jump aside okay porter means coolie okay you uh, could have seen a porter in a place um, like platform railway platform okay oh out of the way oh out of the way he shouted a porter went by with porter means coolie okay one who uh, takes the luggages from uh, from the passengers travelers uh, from the train to outside of the platform a porter went by 
with a loaded tro trolley were, were jumped aside. Were jumped aside. He sat on a bench on the platform. Okay. He goes there to the platform and he was sitting. He sat on a bench on the platform. Putting his small bundle down. Okay. Putting his small bundle down. He had kept a small bundle along with him. So he kept that bundle. His uh, putting his small uh, sm small bundle down. In all his eleven years, he had never seen so many people except once a year at the fair in his village. Okay. He never seen so many people. He never seen crowded crowd. Okay, except one once in a year uh, in his village fair takes place every year. Except that event, he never seen so many people at the same time. Okay, so Velu, eleven years old boy. Now he is in Chennai sitting on a platform, on the platform, uh, putting his small bundle down. In all his 11 years, he never seen crowd, many people. He never seen many people except once year at the fair in his village. People walked by, pumping into him with their suitcases. People walked by. Pumping into him with their suitcases. Pumping into means it is to go. Okay. People walked by pumping into him with their suitcases. People carrying suitcases uh, along the platform. Where, while they were walking, the people pumping into him. It, is, it happens accidentally. And now it happens to Velo. Okay. Pumping into a it is to Paruga. Okay, pumping into means hitting, hitting into him, hitting, hitting him with their suitcases. A voice announced something on a loudspeaker. Okay, this also you could have heard uh, in railway uh, in railway station. A voice announced announcement something on a loudspeaker. Near him, a group of people sat near him a group of people sat on their luggage looking at a TV hanging from the roof okay uh, there, uh, there was a TV hanging from the roof in the railway, railway station the noise was terrible okay how the situation was at the railway station everything is explained here okay so um, TV hanging from the roof the noise was terrible. Here pulled in means arrived as I said before probably unsteady. When you put his head down on his knees feeling miserable and exhausted. So when you put his head down on his knees feeling miserable and exhausted. See how when he was um, sitting, this is how he was sitting on the on the, on the bench, okay, at the railway station. When he put his head down on his knees, feeling miserable and exhausted. Okay, miserable means unhappy. Miserable, unhappy, and exhausted. Very tired. He looks. So tired. Velu looked so tired. He had run away from his village two days ago. Okay, two years, two days before itself, he had run away from his village. For two days, he had eaten nothing but some peanuts and piece of jaggery. In his bundle, he carried a shirt, a towel, and a comb. So already we uh, we discussed. Uh, he had a um, bundle. He had bundle with him. What is inside in that bundle? Okay, a shirt, a towel, and a comb. Okay, uh, before uh, two days before uh, itself, he moved from his uh, village. 
and he had eaten nothing okay but only some peanuts and a piece of a jaggery in his okay in his bundle he carried a shirt a towel and a coat he had walked for most of the first day to kanur and then got on the train to chennai okay so he had walked for most of the first day so two days um before he left from his village the first day full full of uh, he spent whole day for walking to kanur he had walked for most of the first day to kanur and then got on the train to chennai Lulu had no money for a ticket but luckily the ticket collector did not come to the unreserved compartment okay he get on to the train to the unreserved compartment luckily no one has come to check his um, ticket he had tried to sleep on the floor near the door a group of men next to him had played cards and shouted all he was, he was so exhausted he was so tired he wanted to sleep but it never happened because a group of men and next to him had played cards and shouted all night hey what you to down yeah called out your rough voice a hey, what you to down huh called out a rough voice someone in a rough voice wanted to communicate with the velo okay a hey, what new to town called out a rough voice when he opened his eyes there were a lot of people standing around but nobody was looking at him okay nobody was looking at him here a hey, here a hey. he turned around behind him was a girl around his own age okay so already we discussed he was 11 years old so at the same in the same age somebody some uh, other child just called called him here a hey, wearing a long banyan that came down to her knees her hair was stiff stiff means uncombed and brownish and she had a huge sack on one shoulder he was picking up dirty plastic cups from the floor and stuffing them they okay, see this is the girl who called him a here okay here a this is the girl okay this is that particular girl who we are talking about he he turned around behind him was a girl around his own age wearing a long banyan that came down to her knees her hair was stiff and brownish and she had a huge sack on one shoulder she was picking up dirty plastic cups from the floor and stuffing them stuffing them into her sack why is she calling me that velu okay velu was just sitting on the bench someone was calling him and he does he doesn't recognize this doesn't know why she is calling and why is a girl wearing a banyan okay why is a girl wearing but I mean, this is these are the doubts which uh, occur to him okay to velu no need to stare stupidly okay no need to stare stupidly what is your name velu muttered velu looking away okay then that girl asked him his name and he said velu so mr velu said the girl looking at his bundle ran away from home she recognized that this boy has come out from his home velu did not answer he did not want to tell some strange girl what he had done 
Velu answered Pandal and the question. The question was made by that girl, but Velu did not answer. Why he did not answer? He did not want to tell some strange girl. Oru yarum thiyada oru alikku. Why should he answer? Okay, yar ne thiyada aungal kiyadukku na sollano. So he did not answer anything to that girl. He had run away because he could not stand his father. He had run away because he could not stand his father beating him for one more day. Okay, he was unable to tolerate the beatings. The he got um, severely beaten by her father. He was unable to tolerate that, so he had run away because he could not stand his father beating him for one more day. His father would snatch away all the money Velu and his sister earned and spend it on drink. Okay, so his father was not a good person, not a good man. Um, he snatched everything um, earned by his sister and Velu. Okay, so he was unable to tolerate it and he started to. He planned to run away from the home. His father would snatch away all the money. Okay. He would snatch all the money. Snatch na pudding kerala. Direct under Velu and his sister. Um, kunjo money earn ban raga, but and the panatha his father snatch away. Would snatch away all the money Velu and his sisters earn and spend it on drink. Don't think I don't know. This place is full of children like you. So what are you going to do here? Become rich. So that girl, that strange girl, again, he did not leave Velu. Again, he was, he was asking questions. Don't think I don't know. Okay, and this place is full of children like you. They are on the one man, they are going to the kanga, they are going to the one man in the kanga. So what you are going to do here? You are not going to become rich. What are you going to do? She sat down next to him. Velu sitting very slightly. Okay, that girl, the strange girl. Said, sat down next to him. We were seated away slightly. He felt hunger pinching him and pressed his stomach with a grimace. Hungry, asked the girl. Okay, he felt hunger. He felt hunger. Who? We were felt hunger pinching him and pressed his stomach with a grimace. If He he felt hunger pinching him and pressed his stomach with a grimace. Hungry or the girl grimace means here. See twisted expression on the face due to pain. Okay, twisted expression due to pain. Glumly means sadly, gloomily, gloomily. So she picked up her sack and started to walk away. Okay, here again he felt hunger pinching him and pressed his stomach with the grimace. Hungry asked the girl, "You won't get food by sitting here glumly making faces. I can find some if you want." Okay, she picked up. A sack and started to walk away. Well, he stayed on the bench. What should he do? Should he follow this girl? Where was she going to take him? She was disappearing into the crowd. So he had to make up his mind quickly. All right, he decided. Anyway, he had no idea where to go. He jumped up and ran up, ran after her. She was not. She was not even looking back to see where he was. Okay. This is the first part um, from the supplementary second supplementary. Um, the next video we will be moving on to the second part. Okay, so this is how we are concluding the first part. Thank you.